to my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on today's video. I'm super excited to film today because we got some American Girl Mail. Y'all, my Timu package finally freaking arrived after three weeks of waiting. So I'm super excited. I don't even remember everything that I ordered because it's been a minute. I'm super excited to unpackage this with you guys. And these are my favorite types of videos because I get to get new things too. And I get to show you guys. So without further ado, let me stop talking and let's get on to the video. So I ordered quite a bit of things and the fact that they're in like fairly small bags is a little concerning. I'm just going to start off with this big one here and open it. I'm so excited! Okay, okay, so this is what it looks like inside. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh, I got so much stuff. Like, I'm so excited! I'm just going to pull straight out the bag because Girl, I don't even know anymore. Oh my god, okay, I already know which one this is. So everything does come in a clear plastic packaging from Timu. And I will put to the side here um, the price and what the listing looks like on the actual Timu website. This one was no more than $3, I know that for a fact. That's with most of these dresses, honestly. Oh, hold on, this is actually like nice quality. <gasps> Stop it right now. This is so freaking cute. I already know I'm going to put this on. Oh my gosh. And one thing I love about Timu is that instead of using zippers, it's Velcro. Really good Velcro. No snagging there. There is a bit of like loose threading. I will do close-ups of all of these um, so you guys can get kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison. But honestly, so far super pretty. I like how it's kind of like hinged in the waist here to kind of give them like that nice shape and then this long piece of ribbon is meant to be tied around in the front like a little bow but if you don't like that you can easily just cut it off of the dress right here if you're not a huge fan of the bow and you want it to just be the dress i will be putting the bow on them first and then if i don't like that then i'll just cut it off um it wasn't expensive at all but stop it right now this is so freaking cute here's the back of the dress sorry i feel like i'm moving it everywhere it's got purple pink some gray and green little flowers on there really nice designs and i like that the sleeves are like kind of ruffled oh my god this is so cute i'm so excited already i don't have many like pretty doll dresses so this packaging that's why i mean this packaging this package that's why i'm so excited because i'm getting like outfits that are like my aesthetic so this i would definitely wear on myself so there's the first one okay so i put this beautiful purple slash pink dress on Mei Ling here you guys it fits her absolutely beautifully she looks super duper cute and instead of putting the ribbon in the front i tried something different and put it in the back so the ribbon that it comes with is very long so i just tied it into a bow it's not the prettiest bow i was kind of rushing to just get it on her but as you can see it does fit her perfectly the velcro is right here so it closed perfectly on her body and i'm just super happy with the way that this looks on her i think she looks absolutely precious i love the colors on her super easy to put on her i didn't have any problems getting it through her arms and this was just the perfect fit for my number 40. okay next oh okay I do remember this one. This one is also another dress. It has some really cute little flowers on it. Look at how cute that is. Shut up. This is adorable. The fabric on both of these is actually really, really good. This one is a thinner fabric than the first dress, but it's still not super thin to the point where it's like an ugly kind of material. It's a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can see my little fingers peeking in through there um and then oh my god this is adorable there are the little strippies and then this one is also a little velcro like i said in the back this velcro has a little bit of snagging to it but still super cute i'm hoping all these fit um on the dolls because the thing with timu is that a lot of times with these outfits they don't have like pictures with reviews so you're kind of just winging it and that's what I did with this one there was like no images or anything but does this not scream like summer I thought this was so cute and so I had to buy it right now that it is the summertime 
and I just really fell in love with like this kind of white pretty um, fabric here like it just accentuates the dress entirely and it's just so cute so and they both seem to look a good size so far so I'm hoping that they look great on the dolls I'm happy with it though but yeah there's all the nice detailing of the dress and the bottom doesn't have any ruffle or anything it's just a plain straight cut this one also has a little bit of what is the word hemming I think um, on the waist area to give it a little bit more shape as well and then same with this one. I feel like all of Timu's clothes kind of do have a little bit of loose threading. I know some of you wanted me to mention that in my last video, so that's why I'm bringing it up now. Little things like that, um, I usually just cut off because it's not, it doesn't bother me that much. And um, it's nothing like if I pull it, it's going to just like keep pulling forever and ever and ever. So I'm happy with this one too, and I can't wait to see what it looks like on them. I just put this beautiful dress on Miss Caroline, and y'all, it looks so perfect on her like this is beautiful and it fit her also so well i will show you the back there is the velcro it is really low you kind of have like a big um gap here of like no fabric but that's just the way that the dress is made and the straps on this one are a bit big but um what i did is i just like pulled the dress down and it helps make the dress fit better i think it looks very cute on her i have absolutely no complaints with this one such a nice fabric on her as well very soft very easy to put on her it didn't have i will say all of the velcros on the clothes do have like a snagging um they do all snag, so just something to keep in mind when putting these clothes on your dolls. It was hard because of like her hair. Um, but other than that, very, very pretty. Love the detailing on this one so much. Super soft to the touch, and it overall just looks really great on her, and so I'm super happy with it. All right, let's grab something. Shut the front door. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, these are all super summery and just pretty. Yes, this is so nice. Oh my freaking gosh. This is probably my favorite one because it's pink, you guys already know. This is adorable. Can you see the little cut up here? Um, so it kind of shows like your doll's waist right there. So freaking cute. They have a ruffled sleeve on the shoulders and then there's also like another layer of fabric to kind of look like the dress is like ruffled. I don't know how to explain it, but there's another little seaming right there and I think it's so freaking pretty. This is probably um, lengthwise the longest dress so far. And then this one does have the Velcro on the back. If they had this in human size, like me wearing this while matching with a doll would be so freaking cute. This is adorable. Definitely giving super fun summer vibes. Such a pretty vibrant pink and really good quality. Like I said so far, you guys, and this was like, let me look it up. Can you believe that this was only $2.11? That's it. That's all you have to pay. You're not putting out an arm and a leg for super cute American Girl doll clothing that's actually good quality. If you guys aren't already shopping on Timu, I'm telling y'all, please. I'm really trying to put y'all on their clothes because I've been obsessed with ordering stuff from them. And this is by far my favorite out of the three. So here's how this beautiful dress looks on Miss Grace Thomas here. You guys, I think this one might be my favorite. This fit on her like a glove. Honestly, so freaking cute. And I did pair it with the white shoes, but I will get into detail with those later. This is so beautiful. It looks so good on her. It fits her perfectly, as you can see. It's cinched on her, or the, it velcroed on her wonderfully. I love this so much you guys and this dress is just so pretty it's just so vibrant and fun like what is there to not like about this this is so cute all right let's see what else we got oh my god i love everything i'm just so happy this is another uh pretty floral print dress yes timu does have a lot of floral print you will see that pattern a lot here But I like that it's not like an ugly floral print. Like I feel like sometimes you see clothing with flowers on them and it's like, like it looks like it belongs in, I don't know how to explain it, but this is actually cute floral print. Okay, so this is basically that same exact design of the second dress that we opened, except this one has different little flowers on it. This one is kind of like, 
giving me, I don't know, like pretty soft girl vibes, but like she's like the popular girl in school. I don't know if that makes sense at all, but again, super duper fond of this um, design and that's why I got two of them just in a different print on the dress. So it's the same exact thing with the velcro on the back and then of course the little strappies. I don't know which one I like more out of the two. Like I feel like this one's giving more like spring maybe and this one's more like summer or kind of like cozy vibes. But they're both super adorable. I just don't know which one's my favorite. But yeah, like the detailing on these outfits is so beautiful. There's no misprint on anything either. And again, this is that same fabric that is just a tad bit see-through. You're not able to tell sadly on camera. Maybe I can like figure out another way to show you guys but it's not super see-through to the point where it's like gonna bother me you know it's just something I wanted to point out okay so I put this dress on Josefina here and I will say this one did not fit I'm not sure if it's just that my Josefina is very thick like she's stuffed to the max like she's not squishy whatsoever she's very firm so this is a problem that we've got going on in the back of the dress um it just doesn't stitch up all the way and we do have a little bit of problem with the straps here. They are very big and long, so it kind of just like stays up there. There's nowhere you can really hide that. Um, other than that though, the dress is very pretty and it looks great on her. I think it looks super cute. It's just, it kind of sucks because it is tight on her so I can't close it up all the way. And then once again, the problem with the strap. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the problem with the other dress, but we shall see. And I think it still looks really cute on her. Maybe if I find a way to add like a little piece of white fabric, I can fix that problem. But as far as the straps, I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm having so much fun, you guys. I can't even. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness okay I will say the color of this one immediately is a little a little bit different from what it looks like online at least to me in person this is a bit more like of a yellow kind of color but other than that it's still very pretty I fell in love with the purple and blue flowers on here and yeah it's the same design as the pink dress that we opened it's just I couldn't have just one for two dollars and eleven cents so I bought another one they had like five different patterns so definitely go check out Timu and maybe you'll find one that you like in your type of style um, so super pretty dress I don't see any snagging on this one like at all which is super awesome and all the velcro on these is good like it's not like a cheapy type of velcro it's actually a really nice little velcro on the back to it so you can make sure that it fits your doll and this is another dress that I didn't see any reviews on on Timo so we're also taking a risk with these two but I'm okay with that because so far these look like both really nice um, fitting dresses like they don't look too small or too big they look just right here's this beautiful dress on my number 67 this is Athena the velcro on this dress snagged her hair a lot like it made her hair really crazy and frizzy so i'm gonna have to fix it after this video um but i just want to focus on the dress the design and the style of this dress is by far my favorite because it goes on them so easily and you don't have any problems putting it on their body or through their arms or anything like that um oh sorry I was like, where's the little gap here? But I was uh, covering it. There is the opening here so you can see a bit of their skin, which I think is so freaking cute. And here's what the back of this dress looks like. You can see it fits her really nicely. But other than that, it looks really great on her and I'm just so happy with this one and it looks really cute on her, so I'm loving this. Okay, I think this is the last thing in here. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, this one. I don't even know if it's for an 18 inch doll because on the review it showed it on like a bitty baby but I've heard from a couple people that bitty baby clothes fit American Girl doll clothes so I hope that that's the case with this one. This is freaking gorgeous and it is stretchy. I don't know if this will actually fit around their head but if it does that would actually no yeah it should. It's pretty big pretty big hole I think their head could fit through here that is so freaking cute and then here's the dress okay so it's cute but it's <laughs> I feel like you could tell it's very short compared to like the other clothing well I guess it up 
my eyes like peeking through. <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a different um of a length difference. Just look like it by itself. Um, but I bought this one just because I really liked the pattern on here. It was kind of a different floral print compared to the other ones, and it was blue, so I wanted to put it on my number 49 because she has beautiful blue eyes. Um, oh, and it does have a little bow. I didn't even notice that. And I don't necessarily think I would pair the headband with the dress just because like it doesn't really match. I mean, it's pretty. It's a very pretty design, but like does it go with this dress? I don't think so. And also this one is a little bit of a different fabric than the rest of them. Um, this one's not see-through like at all though. This one is really, really pretty. And it does have little green leaves next to the flowers and the little straps. Now this is what I think I'm worried about. The straps look very small in length. So we're definitely going to see with this one. But I don't want to get my hopes up because this one does look very small. But we will see. You guys! This fits them perfectly! This was the one I was most worried about and it literally fit on her like better than just going on like a glove. Like this is the back. You can see it's it's just it's perfect. Like it's the perfect size for her. She looks so freaking cute. I put this on McKenna for now because it looks so beautiful with her blue eyes. I was gonna put it on my number 49, but her hair is looking rough right now, so I put it on McKenna. Oh my goodness, this one is so cute and this is by far the softest fabric out of all of the dresses that I bought. I love this one so much and this one just looks so cute and you can see the little bow right here. Her arm is kind of covering it but it's so freaking pretty and guys, y'all need to buy this one. Buy this one. So you can see it was shown on a picture on a baby but it fits on our American Girl doll. So whoever was the one who told me that baby baby clothes fit on American Girl dolls, thank you so much because you're the reason why I took the risk and I bought this dress so I love this so much and please buy this y'all it's so cute so I did put the little headband on McKenna and it does fit them so that's exciting I don't think I put it on um, probably the way that I should have I kind of just tucked it behind her ear I'm sure if I fix it and made it look better like have her hair covering that part of it then the headband would look a lot cuter but it was really easy to put on her and it isn't like a stretchy kind of elastic material so it wasn't hard getting it over her head and didn't hurt Hurt her at all and I think it looks cute like I said wouldn't necessarily pay, uh, pair it with this dress um, it doesn't look like super horrible with it it's just it doesn't really match because it's like this pretty pink with a pretty blue so I don't know I mean, if you want to pair it together you definitely could but um it fits so if you have another outfit that goes with this headband this is a plus right here there is one more thing in here oh I forgot I bought these they're little chanclitas okay these are cute they're little sandals these were like a dollar and something cents you guys these are just white chanclas that go with like any of these dresses that's why I bought them in white because I need more doll shoes I should have honestly bought more so the top of the shoe is like a foam but then the bottom of it is like a hard plastic and it does have some detailing on the bottom of the shoe. And um, these do have a little bit of pink on the sides of mine. But that doesn't really bother me too much. I don't think it's going to be noticeable on the doll. And um, they definitely do look a good size to be like an American Girl shoe. I usually compare it to my finger when I buy stuff that I don't know if it's going to fit my dolls. So I really hope that these fit because these are actually super cute and will definitely go with anything here. So here are those really cute little white shoes. As you can see, they fit on the dolls beautifully. I had no problems at all getting these on her. They honestly slipped right on her and I did put it on Grace with her pink dress just because I think it looks really cute together. So if you're thinking about buying these on Timu, definitely buy them. Super worth it, very cheap and inexpensive and they fit great on her. So that is it for our first package. Now it doesn't end there because I bought more. Where are my scissors? Found them. Okay, I ordered that first package and then I realized that some of the items that were out of stock when I ordered from that first time um, were back in stock now. So I bought another package and that's why it's taking so long for both of them to get here because I did like two separate orders. So, yeah, that's that's why I'm so excited. Oh, this one is stuffed. I don't remember what I ordered. <laughs> I don't remember what I ordered, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. What do I want to open first? Okay, I don't know. 
Let's just see this one. Oh my gosh, yes. The color is just like in the picture. This is very, very pretty. Like this is very neutral. It doesn't necessarily have to be worn for like spring or summer. It's just very pretty. Gorgeous. Look at how pretty. I'm like start singing. These, this is making me so happy. So this was like one of the first ones that we opened. Um, I think I ordered it in like maybe two or three different colors. So you will see repeats of a lot of these. Um, but yeah, I this one's my favorite out of I think all of the designs that I got. Just because this one's the most like neutral kind of warm toned. And it does have a white ribbon to tie around like a bow like I said. Which I was super happy about. Um, because I, this, they would have killed it if they did this like super warm, pretty color with like a very vibrant pink bow. I love pink, but sometimes Timu does too much with adding so much pattern on their stuff. So I appreciate the fact that, um, it just has a white ribbon and yes, yeah, it's super pretty. There's a the Velcro on the back. I know some of you did want me to talk about like the stitching as well, so... So far on a lot of these, the stitching looks great. I mean, I don't seem to see any problems here. And nothing that is like standing out to me that I'm like, oh no, like it's messed up. So, oh, I love the little, the little ruffles on all of these. So yeah, this one is definitely my favorite out of the two though. Even though this one's pink or like this one's like purple. It, I think online it says purple, but it looks more pink in real life. I really don't know. So we'll see. But yeah, so there is this cute one. So I decided to put that beautiful dress on my number 52. This is Miss Daisy. I think that this dress suits her and just like her personality personality so well. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks perfect on her. And like the color of her skin tone and just her beautiful green eyes. It looks so pretty on her. This is my thrift queen right here. I got her a Goodwill for $25. My mom bought her for me. And I love her so freaking much. So yeah, I think she looks very cute on this. And I did tie the bow on this one in the back just because I didn't like the way that it looked in the front the bow was way too big this dress just looks so magical on her and I love it so much like she looks like a cute little princess I love her I love her all right next up oh, I forgot I bought these two. Oh my gosh these are little pink flats but I love them because of the little bow on it and these are so pastel and pretty this is my favorite freaking shade of pink. Holy crap. These are so freaking pretty. Oh my god. It's like a little velcro strap in the middle. I was showing you guys and it looked all wonky. And um, here is the other one. These are so pretty. This can go like maybe with this or with like this one. I don't know. It could go with everything. These are probably like one of my favorite things now. I truly should have ordered more because like I should have ordered more of these in every color. I'm pretty sure the only reason I didn't though is because some of them were sold out. Um, but yeah, those are freaking the cutest thing ever. Love that. Okay, you guys. I've been trying to get these shoes on my number 40 here for the longest. I think it's just my nails right now that are the problem. I'm pretty sure that these figure dolls... It's just, I can't seem to get it on her foot all the way. I tend to have this problem a lot of times too with American Girl doll shoes. But honestly, at this point, I just feel like I'm hurting her. So I'm going to stop it right there. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys kind of where we're at. These are really cute. So if I can't have like my mom help me get these on her, I'm going to be a little sad because these are adorable. Um... But yeah, as of right now, they don't fit. I will keep you guys updated, but so far, nothing. If I get them to fit, I'll insert a picture so you guys can see. Oh, and you guys saw these. If you haven't already seen my last team room package opening, um, I did buy another pair of those black Converse because I am obsessed with Timu's Converse and I love that I'm seeing so many of you post pictures of your dolls wearing Timu's Converse from on... What in the world? And I love that I'm seeing you guys post um, your pictures of your dolls wearing covers that are from Timu because the quality is there 100% with these little shoes. And you can't tell me... 
Okay, we're just gonna use the shoe. You can't tell me that these don't look like actual real Converse. Like these are very pretty. And um, so the bottom of this is a little squishy foam. And then same with this right here. It's like a little foam that could be squished down. And then these feel like an actual real shoelace. You know, they have that um, same detailing as a real shoe and everything. And these fit your doll perfectly. So easy to put on. Probably one of the easiest doll shoes I have, honestly, to put on my dolls. And these are like $1.98, I think. So definitely get these adorable covers from Timu. And they have them in every color of the rainbow, all the neutral colors. So whatever outfit that needs a pair of doll shoes, get these covers from Timu. This is the last outfit, and it is a pretty blue dress with flowers on it. And this is the third one of the pattern that I said that I ordered like duplicates of because I loved the style of the dress. So here is the blue. Oh, this one. This one's pretty. Like a little Cinderella. And this one has a baby blue ribbon to tie the bow up in the front here if you want to make the little bow. Once again, that same um, kind of stitching there that accentuates the waist, the puffy sleeves. And all of these are super good quality. There is like one loose thread right there. But it's not that big of a deal to me. From this type of design, which one is y'all's favorite so far? Is it this pretty blue one? Or is it this one? Or do you guys like this one? I still think my favorite is the one in the middle. But honestly, these are all super pretty. So here's the blue dress on McKenna. This big bow is very obnoxious. Um, what I'm going to do instead of I don't cut it off like I was saying, I'm going to just tie it around their waist but in the back. So I'll show you guys what that looks like on another dress. But for now to get a little bit of an idea of what it looks like in the front, it's a very big bow and I am not good at tying bows. Clearly this is very crooked. Um, but just to give you all kind of a sense of what it looks like being tied in the front this is what it looks like um but yeah it does fit her there was no problems with getting this through her arms at all i know sometimes it's scary if you can fit their whole hand through the sleeves um especially when ordering from websites that aren't like american girl or my life or our generation no problems with this one it went on there nicely and there are a couple of um stitching problems like loose threads here um so i'll just be cutting those off but other than that this dress is perfect and i love the way it looks on her Hey everyone, so apparently I didn't press record while filming my outro, so I'm just going to do a quick voiceover for you guys. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these outfits from Timu was your favorite, and I truly hope I helped convince you guys to download the Timu app and buy something from there. It is so worth it. The quality is amazing, and you're getting such great prices. They literally have a deal every day on everything. My most favorite is between the pink dress that Grace is wearing or the dress that my number 40 Mei Ling is wearing. But honestly, I love them all so much and I especially was so happy with the fact that this blue dress fits on McKenna with the sunflowers. So nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more videos like this because I love bordering from Timu. I love each and every one of you guys so much and as always, I will catch you all very soon. Stay safe everyone. Bye!